What's happening, everybody? It's Sean with Reactions to the Classics, and today we got another reaction to The Fate, the song, time their song Paranoia Attack, all one word, brought to us by a friend, longtime supporter, and patron of the channel, Kelly. Thank you, Kelly. Always appreciate you. Appreciate all the patrons that make this thing go. If you'd like to support us in any way, check out the Patreon link below or the patron link on the end screen. We couldn't do it without the patrons. We put up music every single day, and that takes a lot of man hours. You can support us for as little as $1 a month. Every little bit helps if you want to go little more we can do some cool stuff for you so the faint i never heard of him a couple months ago did a reaction for kelly called agenda suicide go check that out after this it was really good but a little uh little background on the faint if you didn't watch that when they're an american indie rock band from omaha nebraska my hometown lived there till i was 12 years old connor oberst from bright eyes was originally in the group but he left quickly but they're still on his saddle creek records label that uh, that he is on so I think that's probably partly what brought him. Kelly is a, a Bright Eyes big time fan. Uh, I recognize Bright Eyes as one of the best bands of the 2000s. And also Connor Oberst is one of the best songwriters of this century. Shout out to another one of our patrons, Caitlin, who has brought me a ton of Bright Eyes stuff. But we're not here for Bright Eyes. We're here for The Faint. And there's not really anything out here on this song. It is from their fourth album, Wet From Birth, that came out in 2004. Thanks again, Kelly. I'll have the lyrics up as always. Let's check it out. I'm sad I didn't expect this uh, arrangement.
All right, Paranoia Attack. Wow, uh, very EDM, electronic, almost dance music type inspired. Did not expect that. The lyrics, remember this is 2004, are quite prophetic. The news has got me paranoid. Papers in the news reports, casualties of every war, anchor people keeping score. The weapons now are chemicals and water and edibles, circulating envelopes and powder through the postal route. So there was a lot of stuff being sent in the mail, the white powders, the anthrax, the different things, the government officials. And it's a lot of crazy times back then, but the casualties of every war. I mean, now we've got the Ukraine. The threat of the disease is here. We nipped it once without a cure. It took forever till it stopped. The mandatory needle shots, they gave us a little dose to teach our bodies how to cope. Finally, when we had it licked, some terrorists are back with it. The propaganda is working now. I'm falling for it hook and reel. I'm stocking up on medicine, buying tape to see ourselves in. Paranoia, and they say that 12 times. You saw me count it off. Paranoia attack, paranoia war. Paranoia seems like a bomb. Paranoia threat, paranoia fact. Paranoia drops bombs, paranoia. So obviously COVID-19, you think about when the mandatory needle shots and all this stuff. They weren't mandatory here in America, but I got them. I believe COVID was real 100%. I've got COVID twice. One time it was horrific. I was glad I had the shot. So I don't believe it's any sort of a manufactured thing, but uh, quite prophetic, right? This song was almost, uh, it was 18, almost 19 years ago when it came out. So very interesting how it mirrors current events right now, right? So a very good offering as always from Kelly. Let me know what you think of this. Let me know what else I should check out from the faint. And until next time, guys, I will see you.